Hello there, everyone. It's Dan Talk here with Slick Start Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Yakuza Zero. Well, as you know, this game was was streamed on Twitch, so uh, we're just gonna have to do that little screen transition to get into whatever the gameplay for this episode is gonna be. All right, how much time? Wait, what? Oh, it's just Napkin Boy. How much more time do we need on the collection? Because we know gambling guys interrupted it, but- Oh! Oh! Mr. President! We reached 30% share of the Pleasure King's area! That's great! The Pleasure King. That's the muscular one of the dress, right? Yes! That's the billionaire who controls the area around Pink Street. He made his fortune on telephone clubs and other adult-oriented businesses. A woman's soul inside a man's body. Maybe he found success because he understands what both men and women want. Mm. Understanding the desires and instincts of men and women. That probably enabled him to fight out, figure out, and stimulate people's desires and profit from it. Mm. Someone who converts desire into business, huh? Impressive. Hey. Yes, he certainly is impressive. But he seems to be engaged in fairly nasty business as well. Ripping out customers is a given, and he buys and sells to girls who work in his businesses. I haven't heard anything good about his business practices. I also heard about girls disappearing the next day after getting into an argument with the Pleasure King. That does sound suspicious. Is he connected to any criminal organizations? That area is full of hooligans from back in the day, but it seems the Pleasure King controls them now. After spreading around money and providing women, they now do his bidding without question. Mm. I see. So the Pleasure King basically has those hooligans by their wallets and balls. Gotta give him credit for understanding what makes men tick. Um... Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, sorry. There's no doubt he's a tough opponent. I have no clue about what he's going to do, so be careful. Uh, Will do. The Pleasure King. Someone who harnesses desire for the sake of business. This won't be easy. Oh, it's seconds away. Let's just leave and enter. Maybe they'll do another conversation. Could happen. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's almost there. Walt and balls sound kind of fun. I mean, also you do have people subscribe to you on Twitch, so in a way, you kind of have that. Alright, time to replace both of them. Spining, I'm not putting you for just one fucking place. No. That's ridiculous. Oh, I want... No, get, get Tyra. Yes, there we go. They gotta get people better with the restaurants. And that don't cost a million dollars. Or 48 million. Easy. Fucking miracle. Yeah. That's seven stores in the Pleasure Kings area now, though. Only three more. Wait.
Danke. Collection. Hi. Yes. Yes. What? The arcade? Yes. Ah. Uh, the Electronics King wants to go at it. What's the matter? Who is it? Yeah. I don't know. I asked, but he didn't answer. He just said, tell Kiryu to come to the arcade on Nakamichi Street. What for? Mm. That area is Electronic King's territory, so it could be one of his men. And he said something like, he understands the consequences if he doesn't come, right? What do we do? I'm so worried. Calm down. I won't let anything happen to you. I'll protect you, no matter what. <laughs> oh, w wow, okay. The Electronics King wants to see me. I should go to the arcade on Nakamichi Street and beat him at his own game. It's gonna be that one Sega we don't know, isn't it? I should save first. What? Oh, whoa. Oh, you! You helped me with Mon Mon deal! Oh, yeah. You're the guy who gave me the password. Lee Lung, was it? Right! Lee Lung! I was looking for you. What? Why? I don't want any trouble. You a man who get things done. You help me with more deals. Look, I appreciate your help with the password, but I don't want to get involved in your other deals. Sorry. Oh, I knew you'd say that. But I do not give up. If I help, you will change mine someday. So I help with your business. Having someone like you, with your knowledge of the underworld, would actually be a pretty big help. Yes, help you I can. Okay, it is settled. I work really hard. We did need more. Why? Why is yours bad? Three negative twos. God. Just according to plan. Now I am on inside. One day, I make him mine. Hey, you know I heard all that, right? Whatever. Thanks for your help. Okay. Ooh. Hi. I'm just gonna... Just gonna save right next to you, guy. Uh, I hope that's okay. Because we're gonna go challenge the arcade man to Outrunner, I'm guessing. Or maybe it'd be like, hey, if you can get a thing from this claw machine, I'll leave you alone. That'd be like, awesome. Easy. Uh... Where the hell is that? Nakamichi. Alright, right there. Is this something I can buy? No, okay. Who is... T oh, there's somebody assault... Oh, it's those guys over there. Okay. I don't think I get any more completion points from saving those people. Thanks for jumping back here, you son. Who the hell are you? You're for the Electronics King? <laughs> ah, you're smarter than I thought. Guess that's why you're an up-and-coming businessman. I don't have time to waste on cannon fodder like you. Electronics King is inside, right? Let me through. Whoa, whoa! Not so fast, newbie. Let me guess. If I want to go in, I need to get through you guys first. <laughs> hmm. You sure are smart. But you think you're hot stuff since so you took down the Leisure King, huh? Well, 
We're gonna hack and slash your ass. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen, guy. Oh, how wonderful! A present for me! A bike. You still want to fight? Sir, you should knock it up. Dude, you're way overpowered. All right, coming through. Ah, there he is. Are you the Electronics King? Boy. Hey, you listening to me? <sighs> Did anyone teach you manners? Like, don't bother someone when they're playing a game. Huh? Oh, don't give me that. You're the one who called me here in the first place. What do you want? No need to get snippy. I only asked you to come here because I wanted to thank you. Mm. What? Thank me? Yes. I would like to thank you for trying to capture my domain. The real world is full of poor, foolish souls. So capturing this area of Kamarucha was easy mode. But because of that, I've been pretty bored lately. But now that you're here, my life is fun again. So thanks! <laughs> uh, cool. No expect to be thanked. I'm taking over your area, you know. Aren't you angry? Can't say that I am, actually. It's just a game for me. I do it for fun. Besides, I'll end up on top in the end. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> and why wouldn't I be sure? You've heard, right? I'm a genius with an IQ of 190. And I'm Kamarocho's best gamer. There's no way you'd beat me in a video game. You might think this is some kind of game, but it's not. Thanks to you turning Kamarocho into some kind of playground for you to make money, there are a lot of real people who've been hurt. Haven't you thought about that? <laughs> now why would I do that? Have you ever thought of the feelings of the pixels you murder in a video game? Of course you haven't. You're rotten to the core. Now, now. At any rate, I'm looking forward to playing with you. Can you at least put up a good fight so I can have something to enjoy? Don't worry. I'll make sure to keep you on your toes. Oh, uh, well, hang on a second. You came all the way here, so... Why don't you play a quick round with me? Nani. What? I heard that you had a karaoke battle with the Leisure King. So why not battle with me? A video game battle, of course. A video game battle. Yes. Why don't we play Outrun? I'm not too good at racing games. So that should put us on a level playing field. Oh, thank God. If you get a higher score than me, you win. If not, you lose. What do you think? Does that sound balanced? Are we going to put part of our holdings on the line like I did with the Leisure King? <laughs> <laughs> of course. A game's no fun unless something that's stake. You'll accept my challenge, right? Well, not like you're gonna have to take no for an answer. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, I'll start. It. <sighs> Whew, only five million points, huh? I made two new six. Guess I really do suck at racing games. Wait, five? I don't think we've gotten five million. Unless I'm remembering the point system wrong. Okay, you're up next. I'll even let you win if you can match my score. Fine. Compete to get his higher score to outrun. If you score 5 million points or higher, you win your shared electronics in the air will increase by 10%. If you lose, it'll decrease by 10. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I feel fairly sure we've never gotten 5 million.
I wish it would show me the, uh, the high score list, though. Actually, I do need to... Can I get a controls refresher game, please? Please. Controls refresher. Uh, okay, so changing gears. Okay. Get ready. That could have got a lot worse. Oh, come on. I am not good at this! We're not beating him. That though. That helps. I'm also a little surprised we hit the checkpoint. Fucking! Hey, we made it farther than we ever have, so I'm happy with that, honestly. Oh yeah, five million, that was a tall order. Damn it, I lost. <laughs> huh, too bad. But you know, I still have to give you credit for being brave enough to challenge me. Now, as promised, I'll take a share of your properties. Yeah. I ain't gonna worry about that. Well, that was a lot of fun. Games are a lot more exciting when you have a high level challenger to play against. Okay, we're done here. I don't have a lot of free time to hang out with you. See you later! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just. One more thing. What is it? You're probably gonna die, you know. Yeah? And who's gonna kill me? Who knows? Let's just say that not everyone welcomes your efforts like I do. I'm glad you're trying hard, but you really shouldn't take the five billionaires too lightly. That's just fine by me. Electronics King. This is all just a game to him. He's still a tough customer. I should watch out. I mean, while we're here, I actually can't remember if we finished that friendship or not. I don't think we did. Yeah, I know.
We did better than we ever did before. Let's do a normal run. Why not? I mean, we're right here. I feel like we also got really lucky in the last run. Get ready. Oh, shit! It's a real bad crash. Oh, come on! Barely got the checkpoint. Holy shit. Why are there so many cars here? Oh, Jesus. Too many cars! I don't like it! Oh. My. God. If we fucking hit 5 million here, I'm gonna be really upset. Ah, yes. I'll be really upset. We have crashed a lot. Well, at least we didn't hit 5 million, so I don't have to be upset about that. We got close, though. A lot better than our previous record. Nice driving again, Kiryu san. <laughs> eh, thanks. I'm really close to getting a new personal best score, so wish me luck! Uh, sure, let me know how it goes. Just don't be five million. Alright, uh... I guess we'll go check our money collection again. Actually, I guess we should see if there's anybody... Ah, uh, there is an asshole on the map. And dang it. 
Beat them up. Go check money collection. Someday we'll get to do main story again. That pole there is kind of in the way. There we go. Hopefully when we go in there, it will, they won't be like, Hey, the Pleasure King wants to fight, you know? It's like, oh god. What is their challenge gonna be? Ah, oh, I almost made it in. What the? What? I picked it up and then I just threw it. Here you- what are you doing? Okay, cool. No Pleasure King challenge. How are we at? Okay, we're gonna have to wait a little bit on that one. That's fu- Travel 50 kilometers on foot. Complete. Alright. Sure. That occurred. Okay, what can I spend a teensy bit of time on? About you guys. No, let me hit you with my long lumber. Stop hitting me! Damn it, I wanted to see if there's a special heat action for that. I wasn't able to pull one off. Like, ugh. Okay! Alright! I want to see. We haven't talked to this guy in a long while. At all these past two chapters, I wonder if he has anything new for us. Hey, bye. 
You ready to learn my moves? Yeah, maybe oh, just one. Oh, he's got nothing new to teach. Oh, okay. I had to guess I had to upgrade it more. I thought about just getting the the billion yen that I was getting from the uh, the money grinding, just throwing it towards all our styles. I was like, uh, I don't want to do that just yet. That feels cheap. Let's just save it and then go buy up all the properties first. But eventually. Eventually. Okay, how about now? Has there been enough time passed? Yes! Give me my money. Earn a total of 10 billion. Oh. God, jeez. I know, we start from the bottom. We'll get more gambling game eventually. Oh boy. Oh, I don't think I checked uh, the staff for Gambling King's area. Ah, uh, they're fine. Place both of you. Who's that new manager we took a sky? Wait, no, he was a security guard, that's right. Uh, we'll put spining in electronics, sure. That seems fine. Oh, right, you. Uh, no. Four negative or the three negative twos. It's like, why? Actually, I guess let's go back in there real quick. I wonder. If there's another interview. Because it feels like there should be at least one interview that actually is successful. <gasps> hey, okay, we do. We do have an interview. Mm. Well, I looked at the application, but the photo is blurry and the writing was messy and illegible. But the applicant's a college graduate. Oh. Hey, is it just me or did the quality of our applicants just fall off a cliff? Huh? Ugh, don't get so picky. There aren't many college grads who are willing to apply to a company like ours. We're short on manpower and don't have any other applicants, so beggars can't be choosers. Didn't know we were in such bad shape. Well, we are. So what do you want to do? Are you interview the applicant now? Yeah. Uh. Okay, sure. I'll interview the candidate. Hey. Okay, then here we go. Please get ready for the interview. Please put on your glasses. <sighs> okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, 
There's just something about a solidly built man wearing glasses, you know? Mm. No. No, I don't. Oh, he's here. Let's do this uh, interview. Yeah. Come in. Excuse me. So when they say young man, I expect him to look younger than that. I, I am, um, I'm Saichi Koshimizu. Pleased to heat you. Heat? Oh, sorry, I bit my tongue. P please be to meet you. Have a seat. Right. Thank you. Mm. The guy is super nervous. Mm. Yes, he is. He's so nervous, he's giving me the jitters, too. So, what kind of guy do we have here? What does Rosemary say? It says his handwriting is terrible. I can hardly read it. What could determine is that his name is Seichi Koshimizu, and that he's a university grad. So we don't know anything about the guy. I'm surprised you even granted him an interview. I'm sorry. Frankly, we're desperate for any help we can get. I mean, we hired a chicken for fuck's sake. But with this guy, I think we have to turn him down. I'm not so sure. Coming. I'll get the door. Sorry. What to put the interview on hold? Yeah. Uh, certainly. Uh... So... Koshimizu. Why did you apply with us? Uh, pardon? Um, is the interview on hold? Yeah. I just thought I'd talk to you while we wait. I should help you break the ice and be less nervous, right? I... I guess that's true. Thank you. When I was young, my father ran a small real estate company. Oh. So your family business was in real estate? Yes. I remember the smiling face of customers when they were leaving his office. Nobody went away unhappy. That's not true. My father always said he wanted to make people happy through his work. And I was always so proud watching him do it. What I didn't understand at the time was he made very little profit that way. Our finances were in shambles. I respect my father, but I don't want to be like him. Why is that? I want to make customers happy. But I also want to make my own family happy. The family I might have in the future. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure I probably sound like some idealistic kid with no knowledge or real-world experience. Goshimizu, did you mean every word of what you just said? Uh, y yeah, I think so. Probably. I don't think I lied to you. Uh, he probably means what he said. He's not like the fake interviewees we had before. I think I can trust him with our work. Uh. But either way, I don't think I'll get the job here. What makes you say that? I overheard your secretary saying you had to turn me down. Damn, he heard that when we were discussing it right in front of his face. I don't want to waste any more of your time. I think I should leave now. Hey. What? You're leaving? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry you had to do this for me. I don't need cab fare or anything. Boy. Hey, hold on. I think you deserve a chance. Don't just go. Okay. Really? But... In fact, I'm leaning towards hiring you. Okay. What? But you haven't even interviewed me yet. Sometimes you can tell the measure of a man by looking him in the eye and having a conversation. Thank you very much. But your secretary said I'm not good enough. Mm. Yeah... Well, you see, I hire people and she doesn't. I let Marina handle all the hiring decisions. If I want to hire Koshimizu, he has to win her approval. Koshimizu, there's only one thing I can tell you. Yes? Do your best in the interview and win my secretary over. But they get really, really nervous. I always get rejected at their interviews if I even make it that far. I'll be fine. I'll help you as much as possible. So do your best. Hi. I... I'll do it. I might get nervous, but I'll give it my blessed effort. Oh, boy. 
I'll have to help him out where I can so we can make a better impression on Marina. I'm sorry for the holdup. Shall we resume our interview? Yes, please. I, I love interviews. Okay. Well, I think this applicant is a bust. Let's get this over with quickly and send him on his way so we can arrange for the next interview. Hey, no need to be that cold about it. He gets too flustered. Even if he's a good worker, I can't have him getting all jittery in front of our clients. Okay, first things first. You have one minute, Koshimizu. Tell us about yourself. Y yes. My name is Seichi Koshimizu. Pleased to meet you. At, at university, I majored in Eagle Studies. I I think that will help me help I think that will help me help you help people here. My my strengths are animals like me. Uh um my hobby. My hobby is to dine out. I, I, I know lots of good places to eat around here. That that is all. I have not six birds in a trench coat. Thank you for your lime or time. I don't think he said a single thing that's work-related. More like a personal ad, wasn't it? He kept stumbling, too. Mm. With that garbled delivery, it's impossible to tell if Cushy Music would be useful to us. Marina's looking glum. If you don't turn around, you're toast, Cushy Mizu. You said you majored in Eagle Studies? Can you explain what that is? Huh? I... Wait, I said that? Yes, you did. I think you said you could apply your e knowledge of eagle studies to help us here? Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't remember anything I said. Oh, God. Knowing Koshimisu, he probably stumbled over his words out of nervousness. I'm gonna throw him a life vest. What do you mean by eagle studies? It must have been something that would be of some use to us here. But what? Well, it's gotta be beagle studies, obviously. But why would you study eagles if you can study beagles? It's legal studies. That eagle studies thing. Did he mean legal studies? Oh, that would make sense. If he has knowledge of legal matters, it would come in handy at a real estate firm. The housing laws go hand in hand with our business. Kushimizu kun, did you mean to say legal studies? Hi. Oh, yes, that's it. I have a legal studies degree. I'm sorry, I must have said something dumb. Legal studies. Well, hmm. Marina seems to have a slightly better impression of Koshimizu now. Let's see. Your strength was that animals like you. Your hobby was dining out, so you know good places to eat. Is that correct? Hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have much time. We should ask him to get into either his strength or his hobby in detail. Which would you like to hear about? Uh, strength. Marina needs to get the impression that Koshimizu will be useful in real estate. But focusing on his strength and prove impression of him or his hobby? Actually, hobby might. Tell us more about your hobby of dining out. Yeah. Yes. I I love discovering good places to eat. So I uh, often dine out all over town. I've gone through Kamarocho thoroughly and I've dined with nearly all the restaurants and the like in town. So I think I know them all. Hmm. I also don't know how that hobby would be useful. Uh, making business to take them to dinner. Obviously. He knows the dining scene. I think his knowledge of dining establishments could be invaluable. How do you figure? Dining establishments are commercial properties, too. Popular places might consider expansion. Unpopular restaurants might turn into vacant storefronts. I see. If dining out is his hobby, he might have up-to-date information on things like that. Hmm. Marina's opinion of Koshimizu seems to have improved a little bit. Okay, let's move on to the final part, Mr. President. Do you have any questions for Koshimizu-kun? Uh, questions for the President himself? Uh, y yes indeed. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, okay. D your firm is an innovator of cutting-edge synergy that challenges the industry metrics. My career plans a shared vision and... Engagement! Insights! Uh... Conversion! Boy. Koshimisu! Chill. As soon as we got back to the regular interview format, 
He got stoned off, so he just started spewing buzzwords. Better toss Koshimizu a question that he can make a good impression with without getting flustered. Uh... Why don't you apply with us? Why don't you apply with us? Why don't I apply with us? I, I mean, you? By which I mean this company? Uh... Um... My father. Real estate was my father. The business made things tough for my family. I don't want to be my father. Hmm. I'm... confused. Looks like I made it even more nervous. Well, that's it for our interview. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you. Let's move right along to our decision. President Kiryu? What? I have no objections whatsoever. The decision rests with you, Mr. President. Uh. Good. Okay. Koshimizu, you're hired! Okay. What? Really? Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Congratulations and welcome aboard. Here's your cab fare too. Okay. Oh, really? Are you sure it's alright? I mean, you gave me a job and now even cab fare? Okay. Of course. That's what we promised. Now that you're hired, we would like you to start as soon as possible. Can you start tomorrow? Uh, yes, I, I'm afraid I don't have any experience to offer, but I will do my best for you. Thank you. We're counting on you. Hi. Yes. Do you think Kushimizu kun will actually show up tomorrow? Uh. I think so. If he had that much trouble with the truth, imagine what he'd be like trying to lie. I hope you're right. Hmm? Wait. Uh-oh. Uh. Koshimizu kun forgot his bag. We have to take it to him. Why would we need to do that? He's coming in tomorrow. Oh, for goodness sake. What if this was his wallet or rail pass? He can't be very far. Do you run after him and get him to wait? I'll follow with the bag. Okay, I don't know why I can't take the bag, but whatever. Oi. Hey, Koshimizu, where are you? Where did he go? Oh, puppy. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I was gonna get pissed thinking about that Kiryu guy. Asshole calls himself a company president. <laughs> I totally get where you're coming from. You should have taken on a dog, though. He might piss on your suit. <laughs> but that cry is so satisfying. Imagine Kiryu making those bitchy little noises. Isn't that right, dog? What the fuck? It's them. Stop that. Stop. Stop hurting that dog. Koshimizu? Huh? What's with this guy? He's shaking like a leaf. Shut up! If if you don't stop abusing that dog, I won't let you! Sheesh. This guy's a real piece of work, Iju and Kun. Will you make him go away? Oh. With pleasure. Let's see how you feel after this. <laughs> how do you like that? That's what being a hero gets you. I'm not finished with you. Huh? What is with you? Uh... I... I'm not done with you! What is with this creep? He's freaking me out! Let's get out of here! Okay! Do we get the dog now? I did it! You're safe now, dog! I'm so glad! This is how I die! Ah! Uh, stop it! You're tickling me in my death! I don't want to die with a slobbery face! Um, President Kiryu, what the hell? See? Aren't you glad we hired this guy? I... Sure, yeah, I am. Koshimizu, welcome to the team. A SECURITY?! SECURITY?! What? I guess because of the legal background? I would have hoped he would have been like an advisor that will have good restaurant stats, but okay. Then the dog could have been secure. I don't, okay. Uh, sure.
Why is it? Okay. Whatever. Uh, can I get more money again? Is anybody challenging me? Good, nobody is challenging me. I would like to get more money again. Because who doesn't like money, right? Yes! Hell yes. Oh, Kamarosa, but eventually you'll rank up. Oh, boy. Uh, here, Koshimizu, you can be security here. Kiryu-san says new place should get a feel for the street, so I'm starting a security staff. I don't... Okay. Not you, Miracle. need to have somebody else. Uh, sure. Kasuga. And video boy. Alright, well I think that's gonna be a good let's go ahead and end this episode of Yakuza Zero. Maybe something cool happened? I don't know. Why don't you tell me what you thought about it in the comments, if you're if you're into that sort of thing, I guess. But otherwise, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.